Are you ready? No. Are you gonna, what are you going to do? You going to smoke a cigarette? You going to play something? You going to play something? Want me to record this? Oh, wait, wait, we are recording. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hit the play button, but welcome to Under the Moose. Special Thursday night edition, just like last Thursday. <laughs> Different moose. And that is special. It's also special. Our first reader tonight is going to be Mr. Yoppers himself. Hey. Your favorite, my favorite, America's favorite, Nate Cook. I found a quarter on the subway the other day, <clears throat> but I've never been on a subway. And uh, that means that I didn't find a quarter on the subway the other day. And essentially what that means is that I'm going to lie to you the entire time I'm talking right now. And uh, the reason why I'm going to do that is because uh, it's comforting to me to be dishonest to an audience. And uh, that's what I do professionally and uh, not professionally, but um, the point is, is that if you really get that deep down into what it really means, what I mean, or what it, I think it all means, and I should probably stop talking because I already sound like an asshole. <clears throat> but uh, that's the truth: is that there's no uh, there's no reason or meaning to it except that. Uh, <laughs> It's some extension of um, where I am right now. I'm a, I'm a court jester by choice. I'm a, uh, <laughs> I'm a liar by trade. I'm a, I'm a violent incarnation of what I dreamed myself to be when I was a child. And so now I'm some twisted adult version of some childhood nightmare of what an adult is supposed to be. And I created myself in this way, and now I get to talk to you now, so what am I going to say? I hate everything as much as I love it. I have a deep love for the world around me in a lot of ways. and It's out of that that my cynicism and pessimism and desire to destruct things is born. <clears throat> I guess that's another lie, too. I want to sound smart and intelligent and... Uh, Smart and intelligent, and uh, smart and intelligent, and um, smart and intelligent. So at some point, it all rolls back, and I just kind of get displayed as the fraud I am, and I guess maybe the moose brings it out, but uh, I'm under a lot more than that. <laughs> I almost kind of wish it was just the moose over me all the time. I could just rub his chin and maybe he could whisper sweet nothings in my ear about... <laughs> sweet, to... <laughs> sweet moose nothing. <laughs> about how tomorrow's going to be better in Maine. <laughs> the, moose, the, the moose will do yeah, that. Yeah, he's got a bunch of moosings. <laughs> sweet moosings. When do you wake up on the couch at like 3 in the morning and the moose talking to you? Then That's better than everything else. you just said will have come true. But um, you know, all of us live with this huge non-moose over our shoulder, and I think it's really lucky that I get to live in a world where it, I'm exposed to people where the moose does live over my shoulder. Where I get I get mooses in my life all the time, or moose, <laughs> just moose. The plural. The plural is mice. Mice. I'm, I'm chock full of moose. 
<laughs> Moose is his. And um, I'm unlucky in a lot of ways. And anyway, I guess this was supposed to be uh, an earnest talk with a camera that I refused to look at underneath the moose that I wish that I was and was there all the time. But um, it's kind of turned into more of a <laughs> mock ideological rant about nothing. So uh, I guess I'll play a song now. You want to hand me the guitar, Jerry? <laughs>